thank you to Simply Safe for sponsoring this video. Today, I am tackling a project that will drastically improve the curb appeal of my home. Today, I am painting my garage doors. This is a one day project and is very simple. So if it's been on your to-do list, then I hope me documenting my process helps. Let's go ahead and get into it. First, let me give you a clear view of my setup. I have two doors and started off by clearing out everything I could in front, then using my blower to get all of the loose dirt and grass out of there. I don't want it blowing into the doors when they have wet paint. Next, I started removing things that I didn't want painted, such as the keypad. On most of these, you can remove the battery door and there's a screw to just simply unthread. Next, I started removing the hardware. These guys here are just decorative metal straps screwed on. However, after I removed the first one, I stopped because the next step is to thoroughly clean the doors. And I figured if I left the hardware on, then they would get a good scrub at the same time. Okay, don't judge me for how dirty my doors are. It's never even crossed my mind to give my garage doors a wash, but it has been added to the regular to-do list now. For this step, I used a bucket with some Dawn soap in it. I recommend buying a scrub brush with a handle to make it easier. In fact, this one can connect to a hose, which is a pretty cool feature, although I didn't use it. <laughs> I made sure to scrub the weather stripping and get it back to white as well, because that will be taking paint. But of course, paint doesn't stick to anything Thing with dirt on it. After the scrub, I followed it up with a good rinse to get the soap off before I started taking off all of the hardware. Now on this, I did have to spot clean behind the hardware when I removed it. So you can make the call on if you want to leave it on or not. But be careful if you run your bare hands over the holes because some have the metal frayed up from punching the original hole. Next was to dry it off. You can use a blower or a rag. You just want a nice dry surface for tape and paint to stick to. A tip though is to raise the door up to a good working height instead of bending down low when you don't have to. Now is to protect the house. Although I do hate the color of the stone, I don't want it blue. You can pick up a roll of this awesome clingy plastic that has tape already built into the top. And this way, all you have to do is unroll it and stick it where you want it. Now, my plan is to paint the door and the weather stripping all of the same color, but then paint the trim a different color. With that, I am masking off starting around the middle of the trim so I don't have to worry about being precise. This means I will overspray paint onto the trim and then paint over it later. For now, I walk this roll all the way around until I get to the bottom. It is very quick and easy. I cut off the excess and then unfold the drape. Know that this drape length comes in different sizes. You want at least 12 inches to protect your house. However, my store only had 18, so that's why mine is a little larger. It's really amazing. It does a great job at sticking to things like this stone, but you can always use a few pieces of masking tape as well to make sure it doesn't blow up as you're painting. While having the tape out, I went to the bottom side of the door and masked off the bottom gasket. Again, lifting the door so that I can work while standing up instead of crouching down. Oh, I first made sure the gasket is completely dry, but then I used some exterior masking tape to stick right up to the starting of the garage door. If you've been thinking about a security system, then there is no better time to act because Simply Safe is having their biggest sale of the year where you can get up to 40% off. I use Simply Safe for my commercial shop, my personal shop, as well as my home. Simply Safe protects your home around the clock 24 7, every door, window, and room. And it is backed by the best professional 24 7 monitoring in the business that will call the authorities immediately in an emergency. I've actually had two instances where police have been dispatched to locations, so there is no safe like Simply Safe. Ordering and setup are so easy. You can design a system best fit for your space, and the best part is it ships directly to your doorstep. Step, so you don't have to set up a service appointment. There is never a long-term contract and they even have a 60-day risk-free trial to see if you like it. Simply Safe protects over 1 million homes in the U.S. alone. So if you want to take advantage of their biggest sale of the year and get up to 40% off, then you can click the link down in the description or go to simplysafe.com slash April. All right, now we have the house. We have the gasket protected. The last thing is to protect the concrete. I always keep a large sheet of cardboard in my garage for situations like this. I grabbed it and then laid it right up to the lip of the door's opening. 
If you don't have a large sheet, then taping a few boxes together would work as well, or laying down another strip of the plastic wrap. All of that leads up to painting. Prep is like 90% of the job, but it's what determines a good finish, so don't skimp on it. I'm gonna be using my Wagner Control Pro 170 to spray on my paint, but know that an HVLP like the 3500 or even a roller like the Easy Roller would work as well. I quickly set up my gun, which is nice and simple, and then placed my one gallon paint bucket inside of a 10 gallon bucket. And this is just in case I knock it over, I won't get paint all over my driveway. But then I started spraying. And I chose to go vertical as all of the panels on my door have these vertical lines. However, whichever direction you go, you want to aim for 50% overlap. If you do that, you should only need one coat of paint. And you're gonna be amazed at just how quickly the job goes. It took me less than three minutes per side with my sprayer. If you're interested in getting into an airless, then I definitely recommend checking out the Wagner 170. It features high efficiency airless technology that decreases overspray by up to 55% compared to traditional airless sprayers, while delivering softer spray, improved control, and providing a more consistent finish. It is the perfect addition for any homeowner who wants to save money by doing jobs themselves instead of hiring a contractor. A tip is right after you get done painting, raise the door up. This way it will dry flat and if you spray a little heavy, the paint won't drip. Oh, and I've got to address what kind of paint. It isn't anything special. Honestly, any exterior latex paint will work great. After letting that dry completely, I ripped off the plastic around the doors then started on the final painting step, which was painting the trim. It's at this stage you'll see me go over all of that blue overspray in the previous step. And the only thing to really note is I personally left my weather stripping and its trim piece blue. But another option is you can raise to the garage door and paint it all to match the trim instead. All right, now let's stand back and admire the change. Sold very well. <laughs> All right, that stone is even more awful now, but doing something with that can be added to the to-do list. I definitely like the blue more over that drab beige. And truly, what a simple process for such a drastic change. If you have some garage doors that need a makeover, then I hope that this video has inspired you to tackle it yourself come the next good weekend weather. I will see you on my next project. Yeah, that's a pretty blue. Oh, I gotta raise it up.